Hey guys, I'm feeling a little blue today. <laughs> today we're gonna look at Hasbro's Blue Ranger helmet and power lance. Six AAA batteries are required, three on each side. Both pieces connect. And both parts can extend. The power lance is about four and a half feet when fully extended. The clicking sound is pretty satisfying. I like this. I think this is about as cool as a power lance can really be, right? I think having these really cool light effects in these weapons was really the way to go. I think Hasbro did a good job with that. The sound effects are motion activated, and it doesn't feel like I'm gonna break the thing when I bang it together. I got my power sword and I bang these together for a bit. They've got the motion activated lights and sounds, but I don't see any damage. They both seem pretty sturdy. I'm not sure how hard you'd have to hit something with one of these for them to actually break. The power lance comes with a display stand. Isn't that pretty? And you can also rearrange the stand if you want to display the lance connected. Isn't that cool? And in this mode, it's just lights. It's not making any sounds. There's just one button on the power lance, so instead of just pushing it, hold it down, and then eventually the light will come on, and then it'll do that glowing thing so you can stick it in your stand and, and let it do the light show. You can do that with your power sword as well, but the power sword does make a noise, and eventually does shut itself off. The power lance seems to keep on going. I'm not sure if it'll go forever, but I've left it running for a while. The Blue Ranger helmet is really beautiful. They did a great job on it, but for some reason, the Red Ranger helmet fits me a lot better. I don't know if it's smaller or what, but that's a little bit of a bummer. O otherwise, it's great. If you have a smaller, <laughs> if you have a smaller head, I think you'll be very happy with it. I'm not sure why this one's smaller when the red fits just fine, but it's something to know. If the Red Ranger helmet is tight on you, this probably won't fit very well. But otherwise, it looks great, and it does include the helmet stand. Here is our previous version of the Power Lance. I keep seeing comments about like plastic being cheap. Like this thing, it's pretty solid. <sighs> like I don't think I could break this if I wanted to. Okay, when it's extended, maybe. It, it seems pretty solid, so. I mean, if, if you're planning on fighting actual space aliens with this, you might not make it, but <laughs> um, if you want it to look pretty on a shelf or a wall, or if you want to do, you know, cosplaying or some light battle with it, you're probably going to be fine. I don't know how long it's actually been sitting in the display, but the light's been on for a while, so maybe this will just keep going until the battery's dead. I don't know. This is a really cool thing. It's more likely than not that we would see a full weapon release slash power blaster, I hope. Batteries go in here. Eh. That unscrews, and then you have to unscrew this, and then it's three AAA batteries. To turn it off. Now, the Legacy Power Sword had like a proper on-off switch. This has a button. I guess it's off. So with the helmet, I would recommend wearing some underhood thing. So you don't see the bottom of your face or your neck, which is what I usually do when I'm in these things either way. Man, this really does look good. I, I wish it was a little bit bigger, like a tiny bit bigger. Tiny bit bigger, but... I look beautiful! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna end here. Thank you guys for watching. Good night.
Oh, I, I didn't mean to do that. 